history made tonight uh, so many different ways, and uh, one of them being this was the first national television broadcast for the Southland Women's Championship. You guys shine on the biggest stage there is. Well, you know, I, like we just told our team in there, I don't think they realized what they just did, but um, I wasn't aware of that. Um, that's kind of a special thing to be a part of, but I'm just so incredibly proud of this group of young ladies and how they've stuck together, how they persevered. Um, and I think a lot of teams can say that, but for them to be able to, to handle a coaching change and just buy into what we wanted uh, for them and, and to go out and do it every single day and be committed to that and believe and trust in us, um, it's just really, really special. I couldn't be more proud of them. When you first walked in the door to this program, did you have a timeline and was it is there any chance it was this fast? It was not two years, I can assure you of that. Um, I wasn't thinking real rationally at the, at the time, being pregnant and having a two-year-old, but um, it, it's just, we always say that um, when you get the right people in place, and that was kind of how we sold things to our recruits, of when you get the right people in place, special things can happen. And um, we were able to do that, and these young ladies have been tremendous. Um, they've, asked what, they've done what we've asked of them, and um, I couldn't be more happy for them. When you come into the week knowing that you would have to play three times when the other two top seeds would only have to play twice, was that a daunting task, or did you think maybe we can get rolling and uh, and really and may be able to make it work? Well, I think in March it's all about the teams that are, are, are hot and that are playing their best basketball, and I felt like about three weeks ago we really kind of started to turn the corner, and we were starting to play um, a brand of tournament basketball that could win for three days. And um, we, we liked our matchups, and we felt good about – things going into the tournament and um, you know you always have to have some things go your way and obviously yesterday against Lamar we had a few things go our way down the stretch and um, today you know we we defended SFA pretty well and um, they missed some shots and, and we just had some things go our way um, I don't think that we thought it was a daunting task I think when you look at these young ladies and what they who they are um, I think that character really counts and um, I think that was just something that they were excited about. We played an MTE um, at Baylor, and we played three games in three days to help prepare them for this. And um, that was part of the scheduling that we did in, in hopes that we would get three games in three days, and we were able to do that. You mentioned Baylor, and you talked about some other of your, uh, your great road games this year. There's one thing for sure, you won't be intimidated by the venue. You know you're probably going to play one of the top four teams in the country, <laughs> but the atmosphere won't get to these well, I think that that's part of why we schedule those games is when they get to this moment that you aren't just completely overwhelmed. And, and they will be to some extent because it's an NCAA tournament. No, none of them have ever, ever experienced that. Um, but you, you put them in those positions so they aren't overwhelmed. And we kept telling them, hey, guys, um, we're playing these. So when you make that NCAA tournament, you're not overwhelmed. And I think that it's really exciting for us to be able to look at them and say, we told you so, you know, this is why we're doing what we're doing. And there was a plan and um, fortunately it worked out and, and our kids get to experience that.